Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Yes, we are talking about the very important price is to earnings or P is to E ratio, which is simply the price of a stock divided by its basic earnings per share. So, in the formula, P stands for price and E stands for earnings. It is also referred to as price multiple or earnings multiple because it indicates how much the investors are willing to pay for every rupee of earnings. Now let's understand this with an example. A company with a PE ratio of 15, it implies that the investors are willing to pay rupees 15 for each rupee 1 of current earnings. If a stock is selling at rupees 15 per share and earnings are rupee 1, then the PE will be 15. Now with the calculation out of the way, how does this ratio help you as an investor? Let's find out. Generally, a high PE suggests that investors are expecting higher earnings which is in the future compared to companies with a lower PE. But do remember that a low PE does not necessarily mean that a stock is cheap just as a high PE doesn't mean that a stock is expensive. A good price to earnings ratio is a relative term with many underlying factors. For example, the market conditions, industry or peer average, nature of industry, historical PE trends, etc. It is usually considered more useful to compare the PE ratios of one company to other companies in the same industry or sector since each industry may have different growth prospects and business models. Now suppose ABC is a steel manufacturing company which has a PE of 10. XYZ is yet another steel manufacturing company which has a PE of 15 and PQR is another company in the same sector which has a PE of 20. So in relative terms the market expects company PQR to have better growth as compared to the other two. There are two basic types of PE ratios. One is called trailing PE and the other is called forward PE. But we will discuss these in our upcoming videos. For the time being if you liked our video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.